Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look at something called the twin paradox. What they began to realize was that if, an, if a, a person gets into a spaceship and begins to travel through space at a very high velocity, they will experience time in a different way than the person left behind on the Earth. For example, let's say we have two twins of the same age. Let's call them twin A and twin B. Twin A stays on the Earth and twin B gets onto a spaceship a very special spaceship that takes off and flies off at 0.99c, 99% of the speed of light. We then realize that the time experienced by observer B on the spaceship is going to be very different from the time experienced by observer A. It turns out time for observer B will be much slower than time observed by observer A left on the Earth. If we then calculate what the time difference would be, we look at the uh, Lorentz factor here, gamma, and we find that at 0.99c that is equal to 7, which means that the time experienced by observer A is 7 times the time experienced by observer B. In other words, if one year goes by for observer B, 7 years will go by for observer A. And if the voyage lasts for 70 years Earth time, it will only take 10 years for observer B, and when observer B returns after being gone for 70 years, observer B will only have aged 10 years, while observer A will have aged 70 years. So that's pretty well established, and we've done all kinds of experiments. We know that has to be true. But then the, where does the paradox come in? Well, the paradox come in, comes in when you realize that in B's reference frame, B is not moving at all, the velocity of B relative to B itself is zero, and Earth and observer A is moving backwards at 0.99c. So observer B can argue, well, I was stationary, I saw the Earth and observer A moving backwards at 0.99c, therefore time is very different for A than it is for B, and since A is moving so fast, therefore when we calculate the Lorentz factor for A, it'd be 7 relative to B, and therefore B would say, well, the time is much slower for A than, than here. My time will, I will age 70 years when I'm gone for 70 years, and everybody on Earth will have only aged 10 years. Well, that's not exactly true. That's what we call the twin paradox, and where it kind of falls apart is that there must be some anchor, some reality as to what zero velocity means. And the only thing we can anchor to is space itself. For example, if you're not moving relative to space, then you're at zero velocity. Once you get into a spaceship and begin to accelerate and accelerate and gain kinetic energy, gain momentum, and finally reach a speed of 0.99c relative to space, now what's happening to you is different than what's happening to someone who's left behind on the Earth and is fairly stationary relative to space. We do know that the Earth rotates on its axis, it revolves around the Sun, the Sun revolves around the galaxy, but those velocities are very minor compared to moving at 0.99c. So when it really comes down to it, it should not be a paradox at all, even though it may appear that everything is moving relative to B and B is stationary. In reality, A is virtually stationary with the Earth and B is moving at 0.99c, and so the time dilation is effective for B and not for A. So it's B that's not going to be aging as fast. A is going to be aging, of course, a lot more in the same amount of time. Now, while we say same amount of time, time is just experienced differently for some object or some person that's moving at very high velocities compared to people who are not moving relative to space. So it seems to be that it's moving through space that causes that time dilation. We'll take a look at those kind of things a little bit more as we're talking about space later. Also, if you're interested, we do have a video explaining this a little bit more in a little bit more fun character when you look at our, uh, what do we call that? The... Just for fun. Yeah. When you look at our videos called Just for Fun. So if you want to take a look at those, we're talking about this a little bit more in that video as well. <laughs> ah, yes.